Our first guest recently cleaned up at the Emmys. Oh, man, that's right. This guy won like five Emmys. Uh, his program, Frasier, won uh, Outstanding Lead Actor and uh, four others. <laughs> i got to start pre-reading some of this stuff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome America's favorite TV psychiatrist, Kelsey Grammer. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Boy, congratulations. Uh, congratulations on the awards. Now, you won for uh, Best Leading Actor. Best Actor. What were the other uh, awards you won? We got... Best show. Best writing, best show. Best writing, mm -hmm. best editing, best director. Wow. Yeah, that must have made you feel pretty good. <laughs> when, when you, when you, this is like your third year that you're on the air? This is our second. Second year. When you work on a successful program like this, I'm thinking that it must be like a 24-hour day commitment for you. Give us an idea of what your schedule is. <laughs> what time do you get up? What do you do when you get to work and take it from there? Well, having had the opportunity of working on Cheers for... 11 years before right. this show started. It was a good show. I, I used to do the weather in Indianapolis. Thank you. Uh, you have an opportunity to work all the kinks out, and so um, I go into work, uh, well, Well, like what? Well, You're talking around, about nine, eight, nine? Oh, about about ten. About ten in the morning. All right. Well, that's good. And well, on Wednesday we'll read the new script. Right. The week, and right. Then, so that's a long we'll, day, is what you're saying? And the, no, you do that. And you kind of go home. <laughs> so you go in at ten, you read the script, and you go home. Well, sometimes we go in at eleven for that. <laughs> And leave by noon. No, uh, you're kidding. We get in at 10, no. we leave at 11. No, you're um, kidding. No. Because we hear horror stories about you got to be there at 6 to be in makeup, and then you're shooting until 11 o'clock at night, and then right back the next day doing the no, same no. thing. No, no. Because of the nature of the beast, you, you have to have a live audience like you do, of course, yeah. but you do it every night. Mm -hmm. um, do I ever? Yes. <laughs> It's like, it sounded like one of those idiot bumper stickers, you know, yeah. like pl do plumbers I. do it with their gloves on. <laughs> Better in the Bahamas. Yeah, really. that kind of stuff. Uh, well, anyway, we have a very short-lived, I mean, a short uh, rehearsal process. We uh, rehearse for four days a week. We probably put in maybe 15 hours of rehearsal in those four days. <laughs> oh, no. And then we shoot the show. And oh. that's, uh, that's a, that is about an eight-hour day. So you're, oh. you're working maybe like a 22-hour week, About is what that. you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I shouldn't oh, tell anybody man. this no, stuff. No, no. <laughs> you, you should but be arrested. It took us this Give back the money. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call paying dues. Oh, my God. Yeah, I paid my dues already. Now I get my little, like, my little coast. Now, what was the deal I read where the network that I used to work for, NBC, mm, yes. had recently given you like a very expensive sports car, like one of those Vipers. Now, what was the no, deal on that? Why did they give you a Viper? Uh, well, it, uh, basically, it was, it was a gesture. No. That, uh, that for all your hard work. Honored, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> More than just my hard work. Uh, we had an engagement party, my fiance Tammy and I, and uh, it was ostensibly a gift for that event. Uh, but <laughs> oh, man. It also came twinned with the move to Tuesday night, so I think there was a little bit of a, so you, a blow soft. You were, you were threatening to throw a little star fit, weren't you? You were going to throw a little star tantrum. <laughs> You didn't get your way, so they gave you a big car. Yeah, I understand. No, I, I don't do those. You know, one of the features on the shows are these, uh, the, uh, the call-ins are famous people. Mm -hmm. uh, Lily Tomlin, uh, Carl Reiner, right. uh, Jimmy Carter. Mel Brooks. Jimmy Carter? Jimmy Carter, no. No, I didn't No, we missed so. Jimmy. I guess you weren't there that day. That, no. <laughs> um, it, it must be a lot of fun to have these famous people. It is, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you know, we rarely get to see them, but... Uh, Sidney Pollack came into the studio the other day, uh -huh. the director that did Tootsie yeah. and, uh, out of Africa. And pretty funny. And he, 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 did a, he did one for us. He wow, did a voice. Look forward to that one. Henry Mancini did a voice for us last year. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to know? Well, he has Sydney a memorable Pollack. voice. All right. I know. All right, we have it. We have one of those, uh, a clip of one of those call ins. Oh, cool. You're taking calls, and this is a, a famous person who's called in, and I think playing Rita from Seattle, right? You know what I'm talking I, about? I don't know what Roll it, Hal, if you're still down there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roz, who's our first caller? We have Rita on line four. She's feeling a little overwhelmed at home. Hello, Rita. I'm listening. Yes, hello, doctor. I'm, I'm Rita from Seattle. Uh, doctor, I'm afraid no one will ever love me. Uh, 
I'm a, I'm a nice person. Um, I'm, I'm a responsible young woman. Uh, but the, the problem is I, I look like Secretary of State Warren Christopher. And, and even when I go out to people say, how do you do, uh, Mr. Secretary? Nice to see you. Will no one ever love me? Please, please help me. Have you considered getting a puppy? <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Yeah. I have to. I have to do a little uh, business. We haven't done this before. This is pretty exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to welcome a new sponsor to the Late Show. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, any time at all. Your family will love Big Ass Ham. It ain't ham unless it's Big Ass Ham. Now, in that little uh, bit of your television show, you mentioned puppies, and on that episode, the mm -hmm. dog on the show had puppies, and you were trying to get rid of the puppies. Is that right. what that was? Right. Tell me a little bit about the dog. It's like the big star now, the dog. The dog is on the cover of magazines. Yes. Two covers of Two TV covers. Guide. Dog Two is all separate TV go. guides there. Here's some entertainment <laughs> magazine. There's the dog. Yeah. Life magazine now. Here is the, the dog, dog right there. Yeah. yeah. What kind of dog is that? That's a... Uh, he's a rough... Um, what is it? I think Jack Russell. Uh, Jack Russell. I think yes. rough is the sound he makes, rough. Kelsey. Yes. No, it's, well, it's because he's not smooth. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's got that, long hair. That dog is a bark. <laughs> he's a. Uh, he's good at his job. Do you get along well with the animal? It's not that you really get along with him. It's it's, <laughs> uh, it's like you're, you're working together. Uh -huh. so, you know, but do you do you like to have a good relationship with the animal? Yeah, not have you don't have a relationship with him. Really? <laughs> well, he's kind of you know. But the dog, out of touch. undeniably, is very very popular. Very popular. And I understand the dog is with you now. I have brought our friend. There he is! No. Hey! Hey, hey, you want some ham? All we have is. What do, what do we call the dog? Uh, his real name is Moose. Moose! Come here, buddy. There you go, Moose. Here, Moose. Hey, baby, how are you? How old is here. Moose? I think he's four years old. These, these are great dogs. Yeah, these, these, they are uh, great dogs. They're originally they're... bred to go into like tunnels and hunt out animals, and you could yes. reach down in there, grab them out by the tail. Isn't they're that really what they were? They're pretty nasty yeah. in their way. Does, does Moose uh, do any tricks for you? We have a little trick that we wanted to show right. you. Oh, great. Moose, do you oh, think you can do good. this thing? Do you, you have enough room? Just stand right there, David. All right. All right, you come around here, Moose. Okay, there you go. You need any help, Anton? Maybe a. What is Moose going to do? All right. What are, no, 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 no. Stand up. <laughs> there you go. Okay, go ahead. You have an amazing rapport with the animal. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, hold, oh. It, hold it. Hold hey, it. Hey, hey, hey. Hold it. <laughs> go ahead. Good boy. Weasel. Why, you, I gotta. Wait till I get you back to the hotel. I thought that was pretty good. Now, is there is there one more? Do you have like a, a, a well, goodbye, a little send off kind of thing? What a handsome that? doggy! What a handsome doggy! I don't know how to get rid of this. There. Oh look yeah, at my dog! Yeah, there she is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, really, this is what it's like. Certainly, certainly a flattering shot, isn't mm -hmm. it? Like, uh, well, Musu, it was certainly fun meeting you. Kelsey, congratulations. You, Continued success with the show. Kelsey Grammer, ladies and gentlemen, and Moose.